Alright, everybody good? We are the Birdland combo. Yeah. I play bass. Yeah. Uh, at least I try to play bass. Um, <laughs> yeah, we all started playing together this fall, I guess in August. So this is like a really fresh group. Um, and it's been going really well. Yeah. Uh, settling in with each other really nicely. Playing a lot of new music. Like people are writing a lot, which has been really inspiring for the group. And I think a lot of the reason why we're doing all the stuff we're doing right now. It's kind of interesting. I feel like we play a lot of different styles because we all have different kind of voices compositionally and the way we arrange tunes, we all have different ideas. But um, uh, we definitely root ourselves in um, our personalities and the way they come together. Um, so I don't know, I, would say, I wouldn't say we necessarily have one sound uh, or anything like that. I mean, like Zach's arrangement, this is Zach's arrangement we're listening to now, which is like McCoy Tyner meets like John McLaughlin. And uh, he also has an arrangement on Style by Starlight, which is maybe like a Gil Evans thing. So I think it kind of roots itself in our individual sounds and how they come together more than anything else, our personalities. Hi, my name is Chris Navarrete. I'm the trumpet player in the Birdland Combo. And uh, I'd like to say that this has definitely been one of the best combos I've ever performed in, um, except for the bass player. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a great group. <laughs> a lot of great players, um, great horn section, fantastic rhythm section. And, uh, and <laughs> uh, definitely been a, uh, a long time goal for me to be a part of this group over here at UNC and uh, I'm glad to be a part of it. Um, the music we're playing is all originals and uh, I believe this recording session we're doing a composition of mine uh, named Uplifted. We're doing a composition, composition of David Baker's uh, called Because You're You and uh, we're doing a composition by Zach Rich. Uh, I just call it McCoy and uh, it's a great tune. Uh, but yeah, the, it, uh, we all have a, a, a very unified sound in the horn section. It's great soloists, um, a lot of bebop and blues integrated. Uh, 
modeling after the Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. One of my goals uh, to see this group performing all throughout Colorado uh, with our own original mu music as well as uh, unique arrangements. Uh, not just for Greeley and the, uh, the school, but also just as a jazz group in Colorado in general. My name is Alexandra Schobeck and I'm the pianist in Birdland. I'm really excited about this group because um, we all come from very different backgrounds which I think adds a lot to our music. We each have different styles that we've studied and um, played a lot more than others so it really contributes to one another to make a really unique sound and even better each other as musicians. Also because of that, because of our diverse backgrounds, we also um, I have hopes that we can really take this combo to different places and hopefully be able to play at a lot of different places and uh, a lot of us are composers also, which both gives us a very unique sound because it's original music and also just adds to the group as a whole. So I think it's, it's a really exciting project. I think we'll be able to take it pretty far and do some really cool stuff with it. I'm just super excited to play with these awesome musicians and they're super great people too. And it's just, it's just so much fun playing with them. It's not even like work. I mean, we definitely work hard, but it's, it's just a blast to be doing all this. My name is Jack McManaman. Uh, I play guitar in the Birdland Combo at University of Northern Colorado. Uh, when I came in as a freshman, I wanted to be in this group because it's taught by Steve Kabolchek, who's my instructor. So that was kind of always what I was setting my sights for as soon as I got here. Um, and I was really bad as a freshman. Um, so it's really cool to finally like kind of get my butt kicked by someone who's been kicking my butt kind of for the last four years. Um, it's great being in this ensemble. Um, because everyone's way better than me and it's nice to just kind of get have to meet their level and not have have the opposite happen where I have to other people meet me I have to meet them it's really a, a great experience um, I feel like the pressure's on not in a negative way but just to be the best that I can be and to excel and push myself to I don't know, play well and meet their expectations and my expectations. Just, I don't know, any kind of jazz music really, I mean, any sort of thing that fits in that idiom. Um, yeah, I think we all have different stylistic backgrounds and we're all into different things um, in different eras, kind of, um, so I think it just kind of meshes pretty well. <laughs> my name is Zach Rich, I play the trombone. Yeah, so we uh, had a session last night and uh, we're recording three originals. Uh, one of them uh, uplifted by Chris. It's uh, kind of in the Maria Schneider vein. It's really, really diatonic, really beautiful piece though. Uh, very well phrased. Uh, then we're playing kind of a uh, up-tempo swing, a little bit free form. That's really fun. That's uh, by David, Because You're You. Um, and then uh, one of my originals, Coy McCoy, kind of an Afro-Cuban that goes into a swing section, but uh, that went really well, and it's just been a real joy getting to record all these. We're a seven-piece group. We got uh, three horns, a four-piece rhythm section. Um, we all do a lot of writing, which is really good for the group because we have uh, most uh, tunes we play are arrangements or originals from one of us, so it uh, really opens the doors in terms of repertoire. and. Uh, lets us explore a lot of different uh, sounds. I love being a part of this group. I uh, love playing with all these, these great musicians and uh, sharing what I have and getting to experience what they have. And it's uh, a real joy getting to play with these wonderful people. So my name is uh, uh, Chang Su. I'm from Beijing, China. And uh, I play the saxophone. Uh, it's my honor to uh, be able to play with uh, such wonderful people in this group. Many of us um, were composers, uh, uh, great musicians, so uh, we get a chance to play a lot of original music, uh, original um, arrangements. My role in this group is to help to do the um, video, photos, meet social media uh, stuff to promote this group, um, and then we're in the studio recording our um, new album. Um, hopefully we'll release this album somewhere, uh, sometime uh, soon. Uh, and then uh, um, our vision is to play um, originally, um, 
play uh, gigs, concerts uh, in Colorado, and hopefully we can take this group internationally. Uh, we can go to China, my hometown, and then play uh, this great music um, for more people uh, in China or anywhere in the world. Hi, my name is Jameson Scriver, and I'm the drummer in Birdland. I love playing in Birdland because, for one, we play like all kinds of music. We've played everything from the music of Herbie Hancock to something that was written last week. And it's really cool because it's really eclectic and everybody has huge personalities. Like, as soon as the soloist changes, I know we're playing a different tune because, you know, I know this person plays this way and this person might be making a joke, this person might be telling me a story. And it's really exciting to play with all these people. It's also really fun because everybody gets along super well and we have a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I don't know, we can't go anywhere without doing something ridiculous <laughs> and just, uh, you know, having fun with it. We don't take ourselves too seriously. We take ourselves seriously enough to sound pretty good, but we don't take ourselves so seriously that we don't have any fun. Um, and that's why I think that we can get a lot done and we, uh, we gel really well as musicians and as people. My favorite moment tonight was the start of the piano solo because it was like this like atmosphere was just like bang. Like it was just like it changed really suddenly and then like the air just cleared and then all this stuff started happening and it like kind of evolved and like moved and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I look like it's really fun when stuff happens like that because then all this energy starts flowing and it's like like people are like oh this is happening and then they're like well I want to do something you know they're like I want to add this no I want to add this no me no, ah. and then it gets like everybody's just exploding out of themselves you know and it's it's really exciting when that happens because that's the way music needs to happen you know you can't just go and read the notes and play them whatever you know that doesn't mean anything